It's now live from the Erie County Courthouse right now. Philip, what is the latest? What have you learned this afternoon? Mike and Eva, I've been talking with the Davis with the Davis camp today, I should say. Now, last night, Area News Now at 11 brought you a statement from Dennis Roddy, a Davis spokesman. This is what it said in part, quote, Mr. Davis was awakened at 7 a.m. Easter Sunday with a loud banging at the door. Mr. Davis observed an individual at his front door. The individual then forced their way into the house with a rifle that appeared to be loaded. Davis immediately disarmed the individual. Goes on, our, the full statement is on eriewnewsnow.com. Just finishes with Mr. Davis unequivocally denying any wrongdoing. That's where we are right now. That's the only statement that Roddy tells me the Davis camp will be releasing throughout this weekend. Now, earlier today, though, we did get some reaction from County Councilman Andre Horton. He says that the allegations that are being levied against the county executive don't come as a shock to him. I think that a bully is as a bully does. Nothing shocks me about this administration. Uh, it doesn't give me any joy to sit here and talk about the chaos. Uh, it's uh, a tornado in his personal life. I'm more concerned about the chaos that he has created in county government. And County Councilman Andre Horn also says that if these allegations, and again, emphasis on allegations, pan out, will he have more questions for the Erie County Executive? We'll show you what he said coming up on Erie News Now at 530, live, live outside of the Erie County Courthouse. Philip Ward, Erie News 